Radio, great tens. Here we go. We are on solid geometry. It is an exciting chapter. It's probably one of my favorite chapters within EGD. And we are gunning this and doing good in progress. So let's get started on page 8, 8 of the HSE workbook. So they've given us the following. A front view and an auxiliary view of a pentagonal right regular solid. This is actually in, a, in the shape of a pyramid. So it's got a base of a pentagon leading to a, a pyramid in uh, that corner that um, corner there is at 60 degrees they've got 55 in height the end of that pyramid is touching the xy and they've given you the auxiliary view all right we have to then draw this plus the left plus the right and let's add in a top view also uh, as it's not specified but i think it's important for you to do that so the auxiliary view is going to be very beneficial for you. You're not going to be able to draw without this. And then this line here, let's make this a nice clear XY. All right, because that is in essence what it is. X3, Y3. All right, the angle there is at 30 degrees. And so that's why we're using our 60 degree triangle to draw this top view now. And, um, all right, so how do we start this off in construction? Once you lined up your paper, just in construction, each one of these corners, we're going to project down. To the foot, I'm not taking it all the way here because we, the foot of the pyramid is going to be somewhere here. The one thing that we have to determine is the point of this pyramid. You agree with me, okay? And so to do that, we're going to need the auxiliary view. So let me zoom in there for you. Now, how do I determine the center of this pyramid? We're going to get the middle pin. They're actually given that for you kind of in your question, but we have to still determine it. How do I do that? What's the easy way? Bisecting the corner. So the first one, that's the easy one. So just pick any other one. You put your compass on any size. Okay. Make a mark on this end, make a mark on this end, and then using again any radius, let's do it a bit outside here. We do an arc, and we do an arc, and we that from that corner then to that arc. So that is the center, and so from this point now, I can just bisect all corners like this. Okay, don't let this line here confuse you. I'll just drop this bit out. All right, there's the center. So it's that line that I'm also going to project down all the way to the base because that on that XY is our zero. We call that point the zero. And then the height now, oops, sorry, yeah, let's see. Okay, look, can you see? Sorry about that. Just repeat myself. That point there is then the point that's projected for the end of this pyramid, which I will call zero, and then 55 from here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. That's the base. So at 30 degrees, okay, now using what is given, we can draw in this front view. That's given to us. This here is here in detail. That is again a solid line. That one is in detail. Solid line. Okay. Now if I have to number this, let me just help you out. If I start here on the outside with my one, Okay. And my next corner is my two. 
at the bottom is my three behind is my four and then the five if i have to make sure i'm correct in numbering it here then that's my one do you see which line is two it's this corner there then the three then the four and then the five so although i go clockwise here this is going the auxiliary view is going to go anti-clockwise okay and then the center is my zero so one then i go to so i go one to this corner two then to three four five one two three one two three four five okay now how do i get let's say for instance how do i get let's go this time a bit different let's say how do i get the left view from here you can make a link around sich kry. Well, I'm going to project out. 1, 5, 2, 4, and 3, and the 0. Right, and now, once I've projected, what's the question? What's the next question? What do I ask myself? Here I'm stuck. What's my next question? Come, we just did it in the previous one. Where do I get the measurements? And the answer is two XY's back. So from here it goes once, and there's the other XY, twice. So I, I compared to the previous drawing, I did the top view first, and then it's still one, two. Now I'm doing the left view, it's still one XY, two XY's. And so it's in this distance here, for each one of these, that I'm going to now use to get my left view. So let follow me from the x y to the one, and all I do is I follow that path to the one to the x y. Take that measurement, make a dot, number it one. The three and the one is on the same. Do you agree with me? Mm. So I'm going to do that while I save my time. Then I'm going to do, you can pick one, I'm going to do the zero, it's the closest. Down to zero, x, y. Now I can do two, it's also not in height, big difference, there's two. And now four and five remains. Going to be the same for both of them. There's four. Sorry. And there's five. Any questions up to this point? Any steps you want me to repeat? Do you see what's happening here? Mm -hmm. Now if I look from the left hand side, will I see that base? Anything hiding that base from my eye? If I look from the left hand side, it's clear. So don't stress. Draw this in with confidence. Okay, next question. What's the next thing I ask myself? Is there anything hiding 3 to 0 from my eyes? No. Draw it in. Anything hitting 2 to 0? No. Hiding 2 to 0? No. 4 to 0? No. 5 to 0 is behind, hidden detail. And so is 1 to 0. Done and dusted. So just a reminder again. These measurements. Uh, is that one. The one. The same. The two. Okay. And now you can use your brain. No. You should use your brain. But you can use the 45 to get the top view. And you can do a similar exercise to do the right way. Let's use a similar exercise just for you to kind of solidify the steps here. So from 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, and 0. Easy peasy. Now I ask myself, where do I get the measurements? The answer is 2xy's back. So I want to draw here, I have to go two XYs back. Once, twice. 
and I'm going to again take these measurements from that XY to the 1. Follow it, follow it, duidelik in it, eindelijk. Number it, 1. The 3 is the same. Can I just do a hack quickly? I could have also gone, if I have to draw here, where's the measurements? Two X, Y's back, one, two. Would you agree that's the same? Yeah. You see? So I can actually just do it this way. There's two. I've done three and one, and then four and five. Oh, let's do zero quickly. Okay, what's the next question I ask myself? Once I have these, what do I do? I look from the right hand side. Will I now see this surface or is it going to be hidden? Yes, thank you. But what do I see? A line running from 1 to 0. I see it. There's nothing hiding. So let that be the first thing you draw in. That's a line. That's a solid line. There's a line running from 5 to 0. Nothing's going to hide that from me. You draw it in. Line running from 2 to 0. Nothing hiding it from me. But there you can see that 3 to 0 is behind. So that's hidden detail. And 4... It's also on the outside, so it's clearly visible. And now I can draw in my outside. Yeah, it's a lucky ticket in here. Okay, so if I look from the right hand side, all of that is hidden, hidden detail. And now with both of these, it's easy for me to draw a top view. So look at how much time we've taken. We're at 12 minutes and we are actually, we've already answered what was required for us. Does these drawings have to take you an hour? I hope not. You should be so well rehearsed with these drawings that you can nail them. So now we go one and one and across. Where one and one meets dot. Remember, I'm looking at it from the top. So, am I going to see that one? Yes. Two and two. Where two and two meet, dot, with confidence. Where three and three meet, dot. Where four and four meet, and five and five, same line. And then zero is a zero. Where zero meets zero. And then I ask, if I look from the top, do I see that surface? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, I see that. So I don't have to worry about it. I draw it in. And now there's some of you that say, Sir, I'm really starting to enjoy EGD. Mm -hmm. Yes, like it. So I didn't see the memo, but I think this is going to be a very close to a straight line here. Just see if if your lines overlap there at all. It's going to be very close. Okay, if you're accurate, it should be just a straight line. So if I look from the top, I see one, two, three, four, and five, and then going for zero. All right, so let's just uh, solidify what we are seeing here. Um, so this surface is in fact that surface, which is clearly visible here in the top view. On the right view, it is actually hidden. So I'll just draw the outside of it there. 
all of that that part is hidden so i won't draw that in all right right here that's then eight eight and uh, gives you a very good um, understanding of how to do solid geometry and how to project using oxford review thank you for watching now it's your turn